This is from Restored to Public via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. On Thursday, June 11th, there was a release of three large tranches of monies from the collateral accounts Rodriguez Trust that were dedicated to RV. Bankers were told that the start was imminent, liquidity and funds were expected to be released, and notifications and PP deliveries were expected to start overnight Thursday, June 11th. The Chinese had given an ultimatum that Trump had until midnight, Friday, 12th of June, to get this going. There would be consequences, plus the Chinese would sell off its U.S. bonds at 11, 11 a.m. Thursday, June 11th. Soft announcement to the financial community was made of our gold-backed USN, which, along with 3,000 high-profile cabal members, was believed to have satisfied, satisfied the Chinese mandate. Trump had until Monday evening, June 15th, to release the 800 numbers for Tier 4B before the Chinese took over to release the 800 numbers on Tuesday, June 16th. There would be a second round of stimulus monies of $1,200 checks that would also come out uh, Tuesday, plus on that same Tuesday, Nasera Jacera would start. Okay, from Fleming, the military intel contact. Uh, number one, this past week, things have been moving behind the scenes. Educated settlement deliveries reached a 40% milestone on June 9th, Tuesday, allowing for the rest of the re RV releases to happen. Number two, Fleming's, Bruce's, and others intel provider sources know people who receive CMKX and FMP settlement deliveries Monday through Tuesday, June 8th and June 9th. Number three, June 9th, 6 a.m. Eastern Time, the Trump team was told they had 48 hours to get Tier 4B 800 numbers out. The time was up at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, June 11th. Number four, over the past 24 hours, there have been extra audits for security risks. Antifa potentially attacking redemption centers. They seized a seven-block area of Seattle under a deep state mayor, Durkin Governor Inslee, who was told by deep state puppet masters to let it happen, countermeasures had to be put in place. Number five, redemption centers were staffed and on call Thursday, June 11th, waiting for us to be started. Number six, bankers were being told the start was imminent, liquidity and funds were expected to be released, notifications, PP deliveries were expected to start tonight, Today, overnight, June 11th, pending Trump's decision in Dallas afternoon. Number seven, the Chinese ultimatum was that Trump had until Friday, June 12th, to get Tier 4B out the door. Uh, number eight, however, the Chinese or the China US written deadline was still Monday, June 15th for Trump, the RV teams to release the RV liquidity, Tier 4B to start exchanges and PP deliveries, or the Chinese would release RV liquidity. Tuesday, June 16th. Number nine, Trump was not going to follow some cabinet members' suggestions to delay the final release two more weeks, strongly opposed by the Chinese who started selling the U.S. Treasury bond debt yesterday, <clears throat> which was uh, Wednesday, June 10th, which crashed the stock market for Thursday, June 11th. Number 10, certain advisors were telling Trump to delay the release for two weeks in order for the U.S. Treasury to send out debit cards with stimulus funds which these advisors were saying would keep the RV and stimulus bill funds from being moved into deep state cabal accounts. Number 11, other advisors to Trump were telling him in Dallas on Thursday, June 11th, the NSA tracking, not debit card tracking, was the way to ensure funds do not go in deep state accounts and activities and release everything now. Number 12, Trump was leaning towards releasing now and not following those saying, wait two weeks for the debit card testing. Uh, number 13, Wells Fargo would be sending 527,000 plus notifications of 800 numbers for Tier 4B. Redemption exchange appointments would begin with the funding liquid. And number 14, uh, had until Trump had until Monday the evening of June 15th to get this out before the Chinese took over the release, the 800 numbers for Tier 4B on Tuesday, June 16th. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.